ass, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get some sports talk. Benching Lonzo in the fourth. <sighs> Look, I was pleasantly surprised by how well Lonzo started the game right out of the box last night because he came out with conviction and supreme confidence and actually played very well against the defending champs in Toronto on TNT. But then I was unpleasantly shocked by what Alvin Gentry did to Lonzo Ball with 629 left in the third quarter, as Jenny points out. Yeah. He benched him. Yep. Not just for the rest of the third quarter, for the rest of the game regulation. All of the rest of the third quarter and all of the fourth quarter, Lonzo had to sit. Lonzo did not look happy to me on the bench because he should not have looked happy mm -hmm. because Alvin Gentry, and I'm, an, I'm a fan of Alvin's, I've known him forever, but Alvin Gentry did to Lonzo what Luke Walton often did. Mm -hmm. Lonzo got Luke Walton again last night. What would Luke do through the first couple of years in L.A.? He would play him for a stretch, and then he would bench him bizarrely for a long stretch. Yep. And that set off LeVar Ball, who quickly called for Luke's job, that he wanted him fired, and claimed that... You can't start out like that, man. If a player playing well to start off the game through the first quarter and the second quarter... And then in the third or fourth, he don't play. Of course, a player not gonna look happy. Now he gonna start wondering like, do they really want me here? Even though it's only the first game, but he don't know what's gonna happen on the second game. Is the same thing gonna happen to me here? Then he gonna start wondering like, what they gonna do with me? If they're going to let me just play first and second quarter again and then bench me third or fourth quarter, that tells me I don't think Alvin Gentry believe in Lonzo scoring. I don't think he do. I can see the difference in Lonzo. He taking more shots, being more aggressive with his team, but if your coach started doing that to you through the season, he gonna start to wonder, like, do they really want me here? He ain't playing in the third or fourth quarter. With his passing ability, he can create a shot and get them open. Because you can watch the games at times, they can't really move the ball and get anyone open. It's like everything closed in. With Lonzo passing, he can create for you to be open. But they didn't use him in the third or fourth quarter. And you can tell the look on his face like, Sidney, I'm not going to get back in? That let me know right there, do you really believe in his scoring? Luke had, he sat right here and said it, Luke had lost the team starting yeah. with these bizarre benchings of Lonzo Ball. So what really disturbed me about this was that Lonzo did play so well that he didn't deserve to be benched. Can we see the first three that he took and made? This is early in the game. He just comes straight down the floor, and he pulls up deep three. Watch this. And rips it. And that looked like a new guy. And then he pulls off this inside-out pass that is rare. That was and a great pass. And, and it, and it was something. It was. There's the shot. Woo. Here's the pass. Inside-out. They're, they're just... Not many. LeBron could probably pull that off, but there aren't many who in the history of this league could pull off that little inside-out, right. wristy, you right. know, bend pass. And so he's playing well. He gets benched. And I realized that Alvin was trying to ride a hot, weird lineup that he found right. featuring Frank Jackson and Josh Hart yes. in the backcourt with Drew Holiday. But then double weird was we go all the way through regulation. They're tied. And he sends the starting five back onto the floor. And Lonzo's like jumping, doing jumping jacks on the court to try to warm up. 
when he got the tip in overtime, he's hopping up the court like trying to get his legs back in motion because he needed to stretch again. Wow. Right. You needed another pregame warm up, yeah. right? Or go get him a bike or yeah, something. Yeah, go, go something because that's just flat out unfair. Yeah. W- what is Alvin thinking? And I didn't see any quotes from him. Maybe we'll have some today. I'm not sure he was even asked about it after the game. But all I know is this was an opening night bad sign for Lonzo Ball in New Orleans, and I don't get it. Skip, I can't disagree with you. Because when I'm watching, I was like, okay, he went to the bench. He's going to take his rest. Sure. He's going to come back in the third quarter. The that's fourth, what I, the, I mean, the fourth quarter. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, normal, okay, that, okay. Yeah. I didn't think anything about it. Right. Lonzo's going to come back at the start of the fourth quarter. He's going to finish this game out. All right. Okay. okay, he doesn't come out and say, well, maybe he's getting them extended rest. Mm. And here we are at six minutes, and he's still not back in the ball game. Mm. So now I'm starting to think, is he hurt? I mean, I didn't know. I, I, I did too. I thought, is he ill? So, and maybe, you know, maybe we'll find out today he was under the weather. But right. I don't know that. So at this yeah. point, Skip, at six minutes, I cut the volume on. So I want to hear if he's hurt or not. Because uh. I'm not listening to the volume. I said, yeah. well, maybe they're saying. So still, nothing. Skip, this is not a good sign. Because it tells me is that they're viewing Lonzo as someone they don't have to have on the floor late in the ball game. Yeah, because if you're the leader and the new point guard, you have to put him back in the game right. midway fourth right. quarter, right? Yes, and Skip, remember, he was one of the linchpin pieces that they wanted what we for, read. Anthony, for Anthony Davis. Okay. So for me, I'm like, and you and you mentioned it, we saw this from Luke Walton, and, and, and you're right, LeVar was up in arms, like, I mean, the guy plays great, and you, you bench him for basically he That can take his confidence down. If I can't play late through the fourth quarter, his confidence is not going to be up. Lonzo come down here his first three. Normally, Lonzo will pass the basketball. You can see he looking like this is a fresh start. I could play my way now. Now that you're seeing this coach doing the same thing Lou Wall did, you don't get the same thing. He ain't gonna have the confidence. I understand it's first it's the first game, but he ain't gonna have no confidence after that. He might even start being tennis and just pass the basketball like he normally do. Since when you see Alonzo be this aggressive in a long time? Now you have the coach not even putting you in the fourth quarter. You just sitting there looking like, if I'm going to ever get in the game so I can help this team out. His passing ability can help that team. But you can bring a player confidence down like that. You can't trust me late in the ball game. Do you really want me here? was basically bent for 30 minutes of real time. Yeah. And I don't know what, I mean, just sitting down, yeah, I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And I know the Laker game started. Right. So a lot of people lost touch yeah. with what was really happening. Right. right. But this happened. Skip. And I get it. You know, um, he came out and hit those two shots. And he can't be a liability shooting the ball in the fourth quarter. Here's he guy. Could, but he even made his two free throws right. he took. And that was a real liability. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> but this is not, I agree with you, Skip. This is not a good sign. Mm-hmm. The very first game. I can see over the stretch of, say, 10, 15, 20 games, Skip, he's not giving you the production that you thought he would give you late in the ball game. He's missing shots. He's not He's not aggressive, not going to, because he doesn't want to get fouled and shoot free throws. Okay, then he becomes unplayable. But the first game? This the is his first, first game? game. Really? And you take this. Huh. And was it a high turnover game by Lonzo? You yeah, know, he had one, one. But he had five assists. Mm. So uh, he, he was playing right. pretty well. I, I don't get it. I don't get this movie. And, and, and I respect Frank Jackson. He's a nice player, but he's just a backup. Right. And you you could ride the hot hand for a little while in the right. fourth quarter, but the whole way. Yeah. I, I mean, I was surprised they rode Josh Hart. I mean, he played. He played unbelievably. And he did. He, points, he, he but, did. But Skip, that's him. Josh Hart's gonna play. He's gonna play Love hard. It. He's gonna get play defense. Got he's gonna big shots. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I'm surprised. I'm surprised that the first game of the season they did this to Lonzo. And I don't think he deserved, you know, I'm not, you know, uh, I think you think he was transcend out. I think he was a good player, mm-hmm. but I don't think he deserved this. Not the first game of the season. Like I said, you're 20 games, 30 games into yeah. the season. Yeah. He's not hitting shots in the fourth quarter, Skip. 
he uh, he's not aggressive because he doesn't want to get fouled. Okay, so got he, it. I get that. Got it. But not the first game. Not the first game, and not off playing pretty well. In yes. fact, I'm going to go to very well. Yes. And what I hate the most about this, my biggest takeaway is, obviously, as a Laker, Lonzo was often hurt. Too often hurt. Yes. Was it wearing big baller brand shoes that were exploding and he'd have to put on a new pair each quarter, he said? Maybe. So but what else got hurt? Shoes. What got damaged the most? His pride. Right. His confidence. They got wrecked by Luke Walton and just the whole circumstance. And Magic said one day that number two is going to hang up in the rafters, right? Yeah. And, and it, just, it hurt this kid's confidence. His father painted the biggest target on his back any kid's ever had painted on his back. And I'm thinking... New start, change of scenery, New Orleans. Thank you. You see it, man. It's a new scenery. It's the first game. This is letting you know what you have for the rest of the season. The first game, you benching for the whole fourth quarter. No one telling what you're going to do the next game. Is you going to do the same thing here? You can bring a guy confidence this low, and he won't be aggressive. It could be an open shot, he might pass it. Because his confidence is shattered on the first game. Hopefully not, but the way he was looking on the bench, you can tell, like, I'm not even going to touch the floor anymore. This is the first game that lets you know what you have in this, in this player. All the players that you had on the floor, this let you know what you have. He had a good game yesterday, and he couldn't see the, the floor in the fourth quarter. It's like he need that confident booster. You would love to have a confidence on the ball. Be aggressive. Now you see you only trust him in the fourth quarter. He ain't going to be aggressive. This is letting you know in the first game what you have. I was hoping to see Zion and Lonzo on the break. Right. You didn't get to see that yet. And what happens? Right out of the box, his confidence gets dented again. I'm not sure it got wrecked, but it can't help his confidence. No, this, wow. is not, this is not a good sign. Okay, so now he comes out the next game, and I'm sure he'll start the next game. And you don't think he's going to be looking over his shoulder right. at his coach? And it starts making it harder when you go up to that supremely confident new stroke that's more on the right side of your face. Well, the next game, he'll go up for the first shot thinking, well, what if I miss this? Right. So and and, and that's, what's, gonna, that's, that's what's yeah. in the back of his mind because he's like, because he's been too location skilled. Yeah. And we see a reoccurring theme. Now, the coach has changed. Supposedly, his situation has changed. Well, I'm going to have to read into it that through the preseason – there's some clash going on with him and Alvin. Like Alvin saying, "I got to teach the kid more of a new lesson here." Like maybe he thinks he's a little got too much spoiled brat there's in it. More to yeah. It. yeah. Well, something. This, this, this is not a good look. This is not. The, I, I'm sure this is not the foot Lonzo wanted to get off on. <laughs> I, say no. I mean, you're the starting. You're the starting point guard, and you don't play for basically 18, 19 minutes from midway through the third all the way through the. You don't and you don't get again into the game mm -hmm. until OT. Yeah. I'm hoping we hear today he had a stomach bug, yeah. but I don't think we'll hear that because he did put him right back out there for the overtime, which I thought was double unfair. Yeah, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, like oh yeah, yeah now uh, go get it done. Now do it. Yeah, you. And by the way, he and work. the whole team just did nothing in overtime. No, overtime. Was skip. They still. I mean, <laughs> ride the hot hair, ride, <laughs> ride the horse that you've been riding okay. for the last. Yeah, if you're gonna years. do that, just yeah, let it fly. At that point. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out.